Hey, what's up, YouTube? So I've noticed, well, not really noticed, I've experienced it as well. Um, one of the biggest problems in this game is having enough Molagora to mola all your units. So um, I figured I would throw together a quick, not really a guide, just kind of like a, hey, if you don't have any mola and you can six star a unit and you're looking for something to build, this is one of the ones that you can build. Basically, the units that don't require a lot of mola investment. So I just figured I'd go through them real quick. Ones that I think are worth building that don't require a lot of MOLA. Maybe, you know, three or four total. And uh, give you guys some options. Of course, you could build any three-star unit you want if you don't have any MOLA. Because they don't cost MOLA to scale up. So I will mention noteworthy three-stars that you should probably build that are useful. Um, we'll just go through classes here. Just for simplicity. Um, Researcher Carrot is a pretty good pvp unit you can use her in guild war um you could probably use her in arena um as for pve i mean you could probably do some fun stuff like golem one shot comps with her detonating burns and, and etc but she's pretty good in rta i'm using i've used her in several matches like an upper master into challenger and she clutched out a couple matches for me so she's definitely a unit that's worth building she takes a long time to farm with the runes and and etc and her Catalysts are a pain in the ass to farm. Excuse me. So, that's just, um, she's the first option here, really out of the mages, and she's really the only one that really stands out. Um, I think Gloomy Rain could be a fun build, for example, and then Harado's another useful unit that you can build. Um, he does require a bit of investment in here to get everything you need, but just another stripper, you know? And then moving up to four stars here, um, Auxiliary Lots doesn't take any investment to build. I use mine with zero investment. Um, mind you, if you're looking to use him for more than one turn, you might want to mola his his uh, S2 here. But you really don't need to mola anything else on him. He's a relatively low investment hero. A lot of people know Ox Lots is good, so he's another option. Um, Champions Rado, I believe, needs Mola. Most DPS units need Mola. I mean, if you're still sitting on Dizzy, she's very viable without Mola. And the only other notable mage, I'd say, is Basar. You can use Basar and not put a damn Mola in him at all, and he still does his job pretty well on defense or on offense. So, those are really, like, the best options for mages. If you have any of those, you don't have them built, you're sitting on zero Mola, you don't know what to do, maybe take a look at those. Let's go to Knights here. Of course, uh, Falcon or Clurry, I think, is a must build for anybody ever. So if you're just sitting on no Mola and you're sitting on not having a Falcon or Clurry, I would suggest just build that. I don't know how many videos I've said that in. But yeah, definitely build her. Eaton is another very good option to do. Very good light bait for Guild War. Uh, he could be a soak if you're cleaving an arena and you need to soak up some damage of your cleaver for off counter units or whatever. He's good for that too. Um, Kiki Rat is another one if you have him and haven't built him yet. Another good option that you could probably build. Um, Terranor Royal Guard is another fun option you could probably build. Like if you're looking to meme on some people, then he's he could do that for you. And doesn't cost any mola. Moving up. Um, Armin, for sure. She only needs four mola in her S1. Literally four to get 100% stun. I know I'm a big advocate for Armin. She's very good in Guild Wars. She's very good in RTA as well. Um, she's even pretty good in Abyss. I've been using her in Abyss on my alt with paired with Kyrus to do uh, some more poisons here. So Armin's definitely a build I would recommend anybody, no matter where you're at. Well, maybe like after you get past early game. When you get into mid game, you should probably look into building your Armin because she's going to help you in PvP a lot um rose doesn't require much investment generally you want to get this cr boost here so she does take a bit more than others so we're going to minimalistic like like none to four or five maybe six mola total um fighter maya is another good example basically just for light bait she does her job with no mola i say eventually you'd want to mola her s2 because it sucks you know not cleansing and defense break but um you could get this pretty high trigger chance with a couple molas and still use her pretty well as a light bait. Same goes with Crimson Armin. You can use her straight out the gate. Um, 
Her passive is nice to have, but not a must have. You can still use her as a light bait with no mole investment at all. And then moving up here, um, Lilius you can use with very little mola as well. Like you could actually use her with none if you wanted to. Um, she's like one of those projects. Like if you if you have the mola and you want to want her to do more damage rather than just provide your dual attacks and stuff and cleanse, then that's when you mola her. And then um, Tywin definitely needs mola. Crow he needs mola eventually, but you can get away with using him. Mine's like plus four right now. So Crow's just a good unit overall as long as you can get this cooldown here. You can pretty much do what he needs to do. Very minimal investment, which is nice. Um, yeah. Fallen Cecilia, I feel like you need the Mola the S2. That's quite a bit of investment. So, a lot of these other ones, I think you need a bit more investment for them to shine well. Um, kind of Warriors. Okay, uh, realistically, we're not going to go past three stars here. Um, maybe General Purgus, maybe Fat Cat are two options you can build with low mobile investment, maybe Kitty Clarissa, but really like none of these up here. Um, Sermia doesn't take too much. You just really need a max or S3, but like every single like other warrior you want heavy mola in because they're all DPS units. So, um, even like Purgus here as well, he wants to be, he's very mola hungry as well. So... Coming down, like, Commander Lorena, Lena, and Chaos Sect Axe. And uh, Gunther is actually who I'm building right now. Just to show you that, like, I don't have much Mola right now. So I picked out a unit to build that doesn't take any Mola. And my project right now is Gunther to prepare for the Uberus Tooth buff. So I'm not just preaching it, I'm doing it. It's going back into the journal. So yeah, Warriors, there's really not any 5 stars, unfortunately, that you can use. I mean, you can use them, but if you're looking to use them in PvP and stuff, you're just going to be lacking so much damage that it's not worth it. Um, build these if you plan to mola them. Going into Thieves, it's the same case here. Um, fun build is really just Mursa. Um, Ruzid's kind of okay, but... Like, he's kind of falling off. He doesn't, he's not really used anywhere. So really just Mursa here. And maybe Alexa if you want to do Wyvern with her or Raid with her. But literally like every other thief requires heavy mole investment. I mean you could do minimal and Karen for Wyvern runs. I suppose. But thieves generally need a good amount of investment as well. For them to really do what they want to do. And then on the Soul Weavers. Um, of course Angelic Montmorency. I'll mention her in every guide video ever. Um, build your Montmorency. Mascot Hazel is pretty good too. Doris is getting a buff, so she's going to be a lot better than she is now. Uh, Jet's a good option for Banshees and all these. Most Soul Weavers get away with minimal investment, um, ex with the exception of Blaze Dingo. I think he, he wants more Molas, but like SSA, you don't need too much Mola in her. Really just getting cooldowns, and that's about it. It's really all you want. Angelica... Get your cooldown. That's it. Akades. All you need is a cooldown here. That's it for her to really do what she wants to do. Um, DJ Basar, like coming up in the ML5s. Cooldown, maybe. You could really, you, like, if you want to use DJ Basar as your CR pusher, um, I would advise bowling this, but you don't absolutely have to. Because he, he has a cleanse. Um, Elaine is another really notable one, right? This only costs two molas to get the cooldown in her S3. And that's literally all she needs. This doesn't overlap with other artifacts providing damage reduction. So like Adamant Shield. So, or Carmen passive. So if you had them like on the same team for some reason. I know invincibility doesn't stack with each other and it's poor synergy. But you could always run an Adamant Shield in the place of this and save yourself some molas. Which is nice. So literally just to get this cooldown all you need is two Mola. She's like one of the, I think she is the least, well, besides Basar, the least Mola hungry unit in the game. That's a five star. Um, really made, you kind of want a Mola. Deanne's really hungry for Molas if you're still sitting on her. Um, Destina, you can get away with just a cooldown as well. Um, Ruel, you definitely want to Mola her. 
Um, made, you usually just want the cooldown, but the passive healing is nice. And yeah, that's about it with those. Down in the Rangers. Um, I'm not really hyped about any of the three-star Rangers. Um, if you want to build SC Wanda, like, then it's, you know, it's kind of a meme build. It's not really going to accomplish much. Watcher Shuri is another pretty budget build. You just need to max the S3, which, you know, it does take a bit of MOLA, but, you know, it's not like a heavy investment. And then anything above that, I think the same can kind of be said for Faceless, Faceless Lydica. Um, you kind of want the max effect chance here, and the cooldown is nice to have here, but that's really, like... If you're using her for a CR pusher, that's it, and that's all you need. And then Ice Area, literally all you need is a cooldown in her S2 if you want to build her. Um, it's nice to have more and everything else, but really, on the S3, the turn cooldown doesn't really matter because you get the uh, the refresh here, and it lowers the cooldown here anyways. So, yeah, you don't necessarily need it. So, yeah. That's just a quick list off of, like, units. Like, if you don't have those units built and... You're sitting there with literally no Molagora like I am. Then there's a couple options of some units that you could start building. Get something leveled up. Play around with with minimal investment. Um, like I said, I'm working on Gunther right now. Just so I could do some Uber's Tooth testing after they buff it. And yeah, so that's what I'm working on. Um, other options I would level up or like... Sermia, she doesn't require a lot in her S3, but my goals are a bit different than probably some of you guys, like, or most of you guys. I'm just building units to help me succeed more in RTA, so I'm looking at maybe building K-Ron next or Charlotte next, because I need a bruiser in the fire department. You know what I'm saying? Um, another option is Deanne, because Deanne's really good in RTA as well. But she requires a lot of MOLA. You can probably use her with not much, but um, yeah, you kind of want the cooldown here. You kind of want all the barrier strength here. You kind of want the CR here. So she's a unit that's really hungry for it. And then also I'm thinking about building this fucker too. So yeah. Hopefully we get another molar refund. That would be nice. But you know, that's wishful thinking. But yeah. That's all I wanted to bring up in this video. Or talk about in this video. Um, if you have any questions, drop them down in the comments. And I'll be happy to answer them. Um, try to keep it related to the video though. Poor favor. Poor favor? No, nah, you can ask any question you want. I don't care. Um, ask me what I have for breakfast. Whatever. But um, with that being said, thanks for watching. Um, if you're new here, drop a sub. You know, let's keep growing. I've been slacking on my uploads. I need to get some motivation to start uploading again. You know what I'm saying? Come hang out with me on Twitch. Come drop me a follow on Twitch. Um, hit the like button if you like this kind of video. Let me know if you have any other videos you want to see in the comments. And... I'll catch you guys later. Peace.